All right, so now I finished sewing both of my inseams, but now I need to actually finish the edge. So normally fabric will fray and it will totally like disintegrate, like it'll get worn out. So what we have to do is treat the edge. So there's two different options that you can use. You can use a zigzag stitch or a serge. I'm gonna show you how to do the zigzag stitch first. You are gonna change your stitch to number two. So you see how I changed it to two. I'm gonna line up the edge with one eighth. So that inside toe, so if you can see, I'm right there on the inside toe. I don't need to worry about back stitching and I'm just gonna go straight down, ignoring that notch there, and I'm just gonna sew a zigzag all the way down right next to the edge of the fabric. Okay, so it should look like that. Okay, I'm gonna pull it out, make sure I cut my threads because I hate having long extra threads. And that's what it looks like. Looks pretty nice. So now I'm gonna do the other side in the exact same way. Um, I'm still on stitch number two. I'm gonna do a little 1 8 zigzag right next to the edge. Make sure you're only doing one layer of fabric. Notice that I don't have my whole project underneath my needle. It's just the seam allowance, just that little, little bit. Okay, so it should look like that. Okay, the other option that you have is to use the serger. Okay, so you'll come over to this machine, you wanna turn it on that switch right here on the side, and then you're gonna use the same technique, only you're gonna sew right next, you're gonna sew right next to that edge of the fabric. You need to be very, very careful because the serger actually cuts the fabric as you're going. Um, so if you look right here, you'll notice that anything over the blade, which that's the blade right there, is gonna get cut off. So you need to be very careful that only the seam allowances is underneath the, the serger. Okay, all the extra right there. See, so just it's that single layer of fabric. If you are not careful, if you're not paying attention, you could easily ruin your entire project with the serger. So if you're nervous about using it, then just use the, the zigzag, that's totally fine. All right, now I'm gonna do the other way here. Let me show you. Um, again, the other cool thing about the serger is you don't actually need fabric under it to run it, unlike the sewing machine. So you notice that it makes a chain if there's not fabric under it, that's totally okay. And then my little secret, you can use scissors to cut, but I like to just use that knife. So I just swing it back around and you see how I just cut off my extra thread using the serger. So I like doing that. And then there we go. Nice, very professional look.